Hello guys and welcome to another log of Digimon Vital Bracelet D3 White and Red Dim and for today's log we have Shurimon I've been looking forward to raising this Digimon because it's so nice to see all these armor evolution Digimon they hardly get to be featured so anyway before we continue with today's log just have to say if you're a fan of Digimon or raising virtual pets you have come to the right channel because I document every Digimon that I raise and I upload at least twice a week if you're interested in such content go ahead and slice the like and subscribe button with Shurimon's double stars and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Alright, let's get down to today's log. We have Shurimon. As usual, we start with etymology and origin of his name, but I think most people would know by now. Shuri is basically short for Shuriken, which is commonly referred to in the West as Ninja Stars. But yeah, Shuriken actually has a really cool name. It's the weapon that many ninjas use and they, yes many of the westerners call it ninja stars but shuriken actually has a cool name in itself shuriken literally means shou li jian which means it's a sword within a hand it's a sword that you can hold within the palm of your hand imagine that that's so descriptive and so accurate of what those throwing stars actually mean right so very accurate, right? it's a sword that you can hide within your hand and that's why it's very um, tactical, useful for ninjas in their uh, attacks and assassin attacks, yeah. So Shuriken is a really cool name, Shuriken. So here Shurimon is short for Shuriken, so because of the Shurikens that are, you know, surrounding its design. So let's look at his profile on Digimon.net, it's an armor mutant Digimon that has evolved with the digit egg of sincerity which uh, basically is um, also called digimentals i prefer digimentals digit egg is very confusing it's like you can evolve the digitama no it's just uh, an armor that is in the shape of an egg generally but it's not always the shape of an egg as well like the digimental of miracles is not an egg it's a cuboid looking thing so it's not always an egg. Uh, egg is just so um, misleading. But anyway, no, you cannot evolve a Digimon by putting a Digitama on that Digimon. It's specifically the Digimentals, right? Which actually carries on the lores from the crests that the chosen children had in Digimon Adventure 1. For some reason, those crests became and took the shape of, you know, these Digimentals. And that's why they have such a strong resemblance to the relevant uh, Digimon design and in this case Digi Egg of Sincerity the Digi Armor or Digi Mental of Sincerity is actually from our friend Palmon's evolution line right which evolves into Lilymon and so on so that's why it is the Egg of Sincerity has the attribute of plant allowing those who equipped it to blend in with nature hiding in, in the wind like floating leaves to appear in the enemy's blind spot and land a precise attack. So Shuriwan here is the epitome of a ninja. I'm continuing with the profile by the way. He uses his signature move Double Star Strike to spin the shurikens on its stretchable limbs and attack the enemy. With his special move Double Stars, it throws the giant shuriken on its back at the enemy from high in the air. These moves are also the names of its shurikens. So double star strike and double stars. But yeah, this whole stretchable leaf thing is very, uh, very, very similar to Palmon's design where she can use her poison IV and all that. And very plant-based basically. So it's that reference and that's why I like the armor evolution so much. Because they look so cool, adapted onto the rookie Digimon. And they actually draw a reference to the original set of the Chosen Children in Digimon Adventure 1. And that's that's just so cool. Everything is just linked together. The sequel, Adventure 02, really felt like a sequel to Digimon Adventure 1. Uh, the reference is there, the respect is there as well. That's cool. Anyway, that's his profile and etymology. Since you're done with that, let's look at his evolution conditions. When we do that, we have to go to humans.com, a highly recommended website for all your evolution condition needs. If you ever start trying to raise a specific Digimon, go to humulus.com, you will have your answers. It's the reason why I was able to document logs for Vital Bracelet, Vital Bracelet BE, Digimon Color, Digimon Pendulum Color, this site has everything. So if you ever start, go to humulus.com. Thank you Humulus for creating this website. It's awesome. He has his channel, you can check it out as well. But here, the website is really useful. Shurimon here, 
evolves from a few Digimon in this uh, D3 White and Red game. You can evolve it via Hawkmon and the uh, evolution conditions will be 8 PP, 1000 vital values and 5 plus battles. Or you can evolve it via Wormmon which you just need to have 0 to 7 PP or 0 to 4 battles or 0 to 999 vital values. You see the funny thing is I find it quite ironic that our Wormmon has a lower evolution requirements to evolve into Shurimon when Shurimon is actually the armor evolution when Hawkmon uses that Digimento of Sincerity that Hawkmon somehow evolves into Shurimon so you know Shurimon should be close much closer related to Hawkmon than Wormmon but despite that closeness the evolution requirements for Hawkmon to evolve into Shurimon is significantly higher than Wormmon to evolve into Shurimon so I just, I just find it strange, I don't know, but I guess they had to play around with the stats and make it make sense gameplay-wise. Uh, so they probably had to slot in there somehow and Wormmon is the one that can evolve into Shurimon with such low evolution conditions, which is great for me because I, then I don't have to train so much. I went by the Wormmon route because it's easier <laughs> to get Shurimon. So anyway, that's it. Um, that's... That's it about his profile and evolution conditions. Since you're done with that, let's take a closer look at its sprite, shall we? Thank you, Second Holesmon, for helping out and dodging some of those attacks because I was getting worried like, am I ever gonna finish documenting Shurimon's log and getting his attack out? And even though it's only on the third round, I'm surprised that RNG was so not on our side and that we had to take a few battles just to get it right. But anyway, we got it. We got the battle documentation down, so that's awesome. Now look at this idol sprite. This is Shurimon's idol sprite and it just looks amazing. Look at the level of detail. It looks exactly like the artwork. This is fantastic sprite animation. I love it and I'm looking forward to the seeing the rest of the digit egg evolutions, the armor evolutions. So this is just amazing. Amazing, amazing stuff. It looks amazing. Let's look at the sleeping animation. Very nice. This is it, sleeping, squatting down. Oh, I'm so looking forward to Digimon D3 color evolution if it ever comes. This will be on the device and you get to play with you know all these armor evolutions. It will be so great. Let's see, it's, uh, we already saw a sleeping animation. Doesn't look so comfortable, but still okay. How does it sleep with so many shurikens? Anyway, this is his punch animation. It looks hilarious. Oh my goodness, it's like doing star jumps. This is the first time I've seen a Digimon doing a star jump for his training animation uh strength training squats crunches punches this is the first time i see a star jump that's cool though technically i wouldn't consider star jump resistance training it's more cardio in nature so but still um that's a star jump that looks really really memorable <laughs> very unique i like that oh this running animation is fantastic as well this is so unique to shurimon because of his legs and his extendable limbs so this is awesome. I consider this unique as well, yeah. This is good. This is good stuff. Alright. It's, it's really quite hilarious. It's good. You know, it's funny, but it looks good. It's fitting and it's just awesome to look at. So, awesome log. I like this. And that's it for Shui Mon's log. We've documented everything. It's uh, idol. Oh no, we haven't documented the walking animation. Lucky. Luckily, I remember it. Otherwise, we'll be ending it prematurely. Uh, let's see this walking animation. This is his walking animation. It's just walking. Oh, even his walking is so springy. Even his walking steps are like so springy. Alright, alright. Shurimon is just hilarious to look at. Uh, that's it for Shurimon's log. If you haven't already, please go ahead and slice the like and subscribe button with some of Shurimon's shurikens and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. I document every Digimon that I race and I have playlists for Vital Bracelet, Vital Bracelet BE, Digimon Color, Digimon Pendulum Color. The playlists are right here, so do check them out if you're interested. Otherwise, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!